cancer, when it came out, it changed things. My dad always kept working on new designs, but this one was different. It had such clean lines to it. All the lines were either square to the putt or perpendicular to the putt. It was all function. You know, the weight low, the weight to the heel toe, slit in the bottom to, to give the face more feel. Traditionally, if we do a design, I still do it today, have somebody sign it or two people sign it, just so that we record it and date it. You know, Karsten started drawing on 78 RPM record that happened to be sitting close, and he started sketching, and let's put it this way, a 78 RPM record, I didn't know what they were. We were 33s and 45s, and 78 was something way in the past. But that piece of paper was definitely the start of it. There was another putter out on the market that had just, just come out, and Karsten had decided he needed an answer for that putter. And he kept saying that to my mom. And then he asked her, what can we name this putter? And she says, name it the answer. And he thought, no, that won't fit. You know, because it's just small little pads in the back, and we can't put names on like we can today back then. We have to cast them in. She then said, take the W out. It'll sound the same, and it'll fit. And he said, oh, I didn't care for the name. In the morning, he hadn't figured out something better, so he liked it by then and took it down to the engraver that it was due there that morning and uh, had the answer engraved on it and ping on the other end. The players started using it, and it just took off.